A few months ago, I got to work with Lego. I was at their production studio in Rhode Island and there was Lego everywhere. There was a Lego carousel and Lego cars and Lego robots. They even spelt my name in Lego. <laughs> But of all the things there, I fell in love with this Lego watermelon slice and it was clearly very apparent to one of the reps there because she told me I should just take it home with me. So I did. And I pull it out to look at every once in a while because it really speaks to my soul. It condenses so many of my feelings about art and creativity into itself a Lego watermelon. This is 66 plastic blocks, four different colors, but you can show it to anybody and they will know exactly what it is. And some of my favorite art and music does this same thing. You can pick out the pieces it was built with, but you experience them adding up to a much bigger idea. You see the illusion happening right in front of you, and it still fools you. We're in Anaheim now for a convention, and also to meet a few really cool people and make music with Lego. <laughs> Sometimes. Loving, loving. Do you ever come to Canada? No. <laughs> Terrible. Look at where we are right now. I don't think you can even see this whole thing. They built out this booth where we are going to be making music with all kinds of Lego instruments and some really cool guests. filmed with Rob Scallon. Yeah. With Rob Scallon. <laughs> he killed it. You know what? We're just gonna cut to Rob playing some funky Lego guitar. It was just... <laughs> Guys, we just got word that Marshmallow is gonna drop by, so check us out. <laughs> Back home in the studio, I've been working on this Lego music for over a week actually, and it's been one of the more challenging sound remix projects that I've done because there was so much material. We had around 10 guests, maybe more, and we spent 10 minutes recording with each of them. So in total, I had two hours of material to sift through. So um, it's sounding good, it's turning out really fun, but let me walk you through my process. It's been intense. The first thing I did was just sort through all the footage and pick out every possible sound that I thought could be usable. So I brought that two hours of material down to a little over 20 minutes, which is still a lot. Most of the time when I'm doing these kinds of projects, I'm working with under five minutes of recorded sounds, sometimes like one or two minutes. The next thing I did was to categorize the sounds. So like vocals or drums, or uh, we had the Lego guitar. And then within those categories, it was like, higher sounds, lower sounds, single hits versus rhythms that people played. One interesting thing I found is that a lot of people, when we asked them to play Lego drums, without any prompting from us, they would do a really similar kind of rhythm across the board. They would often play something in the range of 120 to 130 beats per minute, and so with those clips, I had to do very little to actually sync them up and get everyone playing nicely on this track together. So with the instruments we had at our disposal, this was obviously a very percussion heavy track and a lot of what I was doing was figuring out which different pieces would work well together. And so that let me construct the track to go through a few different distinct sections like a hooky part and a verse part and a build up part and a breakdown. Mike Tompkins' amazing beatboxing definitely helped with that. I also grabbed a tiny clip of his voice from this one part and just changed the pitch around to make a melody. And I did the same sort of thing to make a bass line out of Merrick Hanna's voice. He did this like yelp after we broke some Lego. So that's like one musical note and I just pitch shifted it way down. The challenge here was to remix all the creators and all the Lego and everything that we recorded in this booth. So um, yeah, that was something I really had to stretch to get a bass line. <laughs> Oh. 
the last major component to putting this piece together were all the fun little moments where someone said something funny or had a reaction to something that we did. Did I break it? Or using similar things that people said to play off of each other. Is that good? So good! So thanks to LEGO for partnering with me again on this and to all the creators who came out and had fun with us. It was really great to hang out with you all. I'll play some of the music for you now, but the full thing is on LEGO's channel, which I will link to, so check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe and the bell button if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. You were totally a fan! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing experience. Yeah.